excited with how the season's gone so far this year. Um, you know, our season starts in September and goes to March. It's a really long season, so really try to break it up a little bit. I feel uh, first half of the season uh, started off really well with the NJIT invite. Uh, had a good uh, you know month or so of training leading up to ECAC championships. We're able to win that meet again, and uh, you know we were supposedly uh, off to Puerto Rico, but a slight change of plans due to a couple earthquakes. We ended up in Florida for a week. Uh, had a good week of training there, and kind of came back and kind of hit the ground running. Had a couple good meets against Monmouth, and we're able to finish off the season at home uh, undefeated this year. Uh, beating Howard and I really like where the guys are um, swimmers and divers uh, going into our uh, CCSA championship next weekend. Like any conference you see the conferences throughout the country our CCSA is going to be faster than last year. Uh, psych sheets came out and you know we're positioned to get a lot of second swims this year. Uh, we have a couple guys that uh, have a really good shot to, to be in that top eight maybe even top three or win some events. Josh Franco in the two free, Nick Lyons um, in the breaststroke events, uh, Matt Bonner, Eddie Parks, Eddie Madrigal uh, really have an opportunity to, to step up. Cole Becker, one of our divers, has an opportunity to be top uh, top five or maybe higher on, on you know on both boards. And uh, we have a couple relays that have a really good shot to qualify for the National Invitational Championship, which would open up a lot of uh, swims for other guys and you know maybe get another five or six guys there you know again this year. Start off like compared to last year, like our team was a little bit smaller, uh, not as deep, and going to this year, like our team's a lot bigger. We have more freshmen, more variety of people. It's almost like we have more of a selective choice with relays, like, and we kind of know we're gonna make the cuts, but it's more like who are we gonna put on the relays now? And just the team spirit behind it, like I feel a lot more confident. Like we're all ready, we're rested. We have a great coach, a great staff. Like athletic training group is very good, and I feel like I've the two years I've been here. You know, this is like definitely the strongest I've ever felt about the team. And I'm talking to the seniors, like the team has never been this good before. And like we've been putting in the work all year since September and even like a little bit of preseason in August by ourselves. And we're just excited to like kill it, you know, bring home some medals, break some records and uh, go on and move on to nationals. I'd really like to see each guy, um, you know, swim their best. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, getting second swims and um, maybe winning titles or making cut times are, are great. But, um, you know, we have 25 guys that are going to be uh, traveling with us to the championships. And I think if each one of those guys can walk away with there with the best time, lifetime best time or times, that would be a really successful championship at the end of the day. Because, you know, guys are going to get after it and, and do their best. And whether or not they're first, eighth, tenth, or 23rd, uh, if they do a best time, I, that's something that they, all the work that they put in that Josh had mentioned from August all the way through December to now, you know, will really pay off.